Hey, what is up everyone? It's Rich. All right, welcome to Storyteller Spotlight. Today we are going to focus on Jodorowsky and Travis Charest's Weapons of the Meta Baron of Meta Baron. Uh, I was originally going to do Mobius today and I wanted to focus on Azrak and unfortunately my um my books, it would have been really difficult to shoot it today. So I was looking to see if I could find my digital files. I definitely have them, but most of them were in compilation books. So um, it made it difficult to be able to film a video without a ton of editing. So we'll do this today. I think this will be really, really interesting. Um, and uh, I'll try to give as much insight as I can. I mean, obviously, I didn't work on this book. Um, being a huge fan of Travis's and also friends with him, um, I was able to maybe have a little bit more of an insider's look into the creation of this book than than most people. I mean, he definitely would um, send me a few of the pages as he got them finished, and we talked a little bit while he was working on it. I'm not going to overblow it, um, but he was over in France, and um, he had finished Wildcats, so in around 2000, uh, he finished Wildcats, and... He had one piece left to do, which was the um, Street Smart trade cover, um, which is a, a really, really big team shot of just about everyone that, that appeared in the Wildcats, uh, vol or I guess it was 2.0, uh, collected cover. And um, then he had started on this, and the first piece that I think that I saw that he had done for, for Meta Baron was... Um, a game box piece. Let's see what we've got here. I'll go back to that cover in one second. Okay. Oh, so it starts with Janjatov. Interesting. I didn't realize that. That's really weird. All right, let me go back really fast to the cover. We can talk about that really quick. Um, so this was a role-playing game um, cover that he did. This was maybe a year after I had started the book, but w what you'll find with Travis's stuff on this series, at least from 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 my point of view, is you'll see him go from a more stylized, cartoony delivery to something that's a little more realistic. It was an interesting evolution, but but you can see it kind of popping up into his work, um, even towards the end of Wildcats, like the the forms and stuff like that were becoming more advanced and more. Um, more aligned with something that, that was more realistic, whereas uh, when he was doing his American comic work, it was a, a bit more um, uh, grounded in, in um, American comic ciphers. It's, it was black and white art. You know, you rendered form, and uh, you really can't understate how much of an impact Travis had on American comics. A lot of the people that are sort of considered the best of the best still to this day I think all were heavily, heavily influenced by Travis. So it's, it's, I won't name names, but I mean, there's at least 10 of, I think, some of the most respected artists that are still really out there, kind of, you know, high profile. Um, I'll really actually do a, a, a pretty big debt of gratitude for Travis's visionary nature. So um, I think it's important to give him credit. And I've met people at Comic Cons with like a bunch of books under, you know, sketchbooks of these artists that I was referring to under their arm. And, uh, you know, you flip through the work and you go, oh man, that's really Travisy. And, you know, some of the fans don't even know Travis's work, which I find really uh, kind of, kind of sad. Um, so, uh, Anyway, I don't, you know, people will ask in the comments section, what's he up to? He's doing covers for Marvel. That's the work that I've seen. Um, and, uh, you know, he may be working on a book. It's it's totally possible that he's got something cooking and he just doesn't want to um, talk about it until he's got more done. So this was the first page that, that he did, as far as I know. Um, and I I would have bet money that this was the first page of the book, but I guess I, I was wrong. <laughs> so this is beautiful. Um, uh, this scan is a little tiny bit undersaturated, but man, I mean... To be able to draw at this level is absolutely insane. It's gorgeous. It's so good. I mean, his ships are phenomenal. If you have the book or you can zoom in on this, which I can't, unfortunately, with this format, um, 
uh, you can actually even kind of see a, a little bit of a suggestion of these two sort of sitting in this cockpit. Um, his use of lighting on these forms, you know, for people that, that uh, come to me for some art education, uh, Travis is really, really good with basic shapes. And as advanced as this is, it's like he's dissecting form and he's creating more and more complex forms by compounding the amount of quote unquote detail he puts. But at the core, these are very, very fundamental shapes that he's able to wield in an incredibly powerful way because he understands how to light form. These are great. So smooth. I know as a kid, he was exposed to uh, heavy metal magazine. And, and I think that, that uh, you can see a little bit of that kind of Corbin uh, feel in some of this. This is really nice. Beautiful lighting again. I mean, just gorgeous detail. I mean, there's, there's so much going on in here that hopefully comes through a little bit in the video. And then, um, you know, the ship. All right, so. Yeah, these are dull scans. What a bummer. Um, and a little dark, too. So the ship flying in. You've got this huge sort of presence starting to come out of the um, the mist and shadow. And you see it's this huge... I don't know if this would be considered a manacore. But um, really, really great shot here. It's like a down shot of the son and, and uh, father and the ship. Uh, really, really beautiful. Um, and the creature swirls around and it's like he's got this great shot here they both grab out their sort of meta baron knives which is really really cool and uh man they face off on this i remember i think travis sent me two of the pages it might have been these first two actually when he he had them finished and uh it was pretty stunning you know it was like holy cow man you're going like through the roof like this is just so wild so the feathering and stuff in here it's a little difficult to see on this scan it's just beautiful beautiful work and then all the detail in here we've got these two guys then they jump in and i believe this is one of his missing pages if i'm not mistaken i think four of these pages were basically stolen from the humanoids office or accidentally vanished but um yeah i think it's really really important to still have the word out that that you can go to travis's blog and he's got photos of um the four pages that are missing but i think it's very very important that he gets these back and that whoever has them um should should uh send them anonymously back to fabrice or whatever they need to do but um it isn't cool that that they've been um, misplaced, we'll say. Really beautiful detail here. This this is gorgeous too. And he he can render materials so good. The 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 different texture effects that he gets on something like a jacket versus a ship versus this versus different types of boots that he draws again is just one of those things that he. He has such powerful um, observation skills that he's able to um, really kind of capture that in his um, his art. This is really, really great. This is really cool. Oh, yeah, I remember this page. This is really cool. It's nice shadow kind of cutting across his head right here. This is beautiful. Uh, the this gesture is really really great. It's kind of he's trained into Chewbacca a little bit here. <laughs> um, this is a great panel. This almost harkens back a little bit to like the X Men Wildcat stuff, like the grass and stuff like that. It's funny. It's interesting too how stuff becomes iconic and sort of relatable to um, certain artists if you see it um, and you, you're aware of maybe like like things like that. It's it's uh, it's interesting how. Frazetta's got it or Mobius has it and Travis has his own things that he sort of um, owned Mignola probably even someone like Jim Lee or, or um, J. Scott Campbell you know you see people do that and there'll be more as they go down the line this is great I haven't looked at this in a long time I'm actually I need to bring the book back into my um, studio I have it out in my storage right now but uh, it would be fun to actually see see it uh in person 
that's crazy the blood explosion he got really really good with this stuff too like these landscapes you'll see later in this uh book um some of the planet planet stuff and and uh or, or organic sort of environments that he did are really really phenomenal um and these are oversized pages i don't remember the dimensions that he was working but um they are bigger than an 11 by 17 page um they did a print of this uh there was a print set of four prints that were basically panels um this is great. I mean, God, it looks like a shot right out of a movie, and this is this is really cool. It's kind of a shame that um, they're covered up. I think, if I'm not mistaken, Travis still has some of the scans in black and white and in color on his blog. I'll put a link to his his uh, website and blog. I think this is another one of the missing pages. Again, just um, really heartbreaking that that these pages uh, grew legs and walked away. So again. Um, you know, this, this stuff needs to get back to him. This is so nice. It looks a little simple in this form. And again, the dull scan, and it's a little dark. This this page is a masterpiece, as is the next page coming up. They're honestly incredible. Um, these little shots right here are so awesome, and the attention to detail in these little figures with chain mail and stuff like that is just off the charts. He does beautiful capes. Look at the drapery here. You know, this is awesome. Helmet's really cool. This is right around the time when I started drawing seriously, too. Um, you know, I, I felt like I had taken um, my own inking as far as I could. Um, and, uh, yeah, I was I was really, really inspired by this to, to take a stab at it. And, unfortunately, I just kept kind of getting sort of sucked in the mix. This is one of my favorite pages in the book, if not the my favorite. Um, I, you know, there's just... It's absolutely beautiful. This is such a great shot. The pants, this, the sweeping forms, the cape. I mean, it's just phenomenal. This is incredible. The the storytelling here, bam, bam. Pause this little moment right here, and then he throws this and just guts this guy. Bam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. -yi. <laughs> um, yeah, it's really good. I think this is another one of the missing pages. I think, if I'm not mistaken, that some of these were stats. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Knowing Travis, he probably repainted it each time. Oh. No, they couldn't be stats. Maybe... Maybe some of them are like one to one kind of thing. I, I, I I'm not gonna worry about it in the video, but but uh, I I could mix them, compare them and see. This is really nice right here. Some really really cool tech. Um, this is great too. It's really crazy how how photorealistic some of the stuff got, but but still stylized. It was a really interesting blend of the two. Um, this is beautiful. His environments, God. He's so freaking good. So we could play the drinking game. The he's so good. It's a nice little pose right here. Goes down. Oh yeah, God, this is so dark. Oh my God, this is killing me. Ugh. This panel is so nice. Do yourself a favor and go to the link that I share and look at this page there. There's so much beautiful detail in this shot right here. Oh, man. What a shame. Whoever whoever sh shared this didn't didn't uh, give these scans the love that they deserved. <laughs> this little robot guy is great, too. Like, man, he just crushes it. It's so, so kick-ass. This is great, too. This is such a neat shot. He sent me a scan of this page when he got it done, and I was like, "Oh my god, dude, what do you, what do you want?" <laughs> this is great too. Oh, this is this is such a beautiful panel right here, and look at this. This is like right off a movie, and this, this seems simple, but like his subtle lighting and stuff on this stuff is just so good. Oh man. This actually was a nice uh, surprise because I, again, I was looking for Mobius and I was like, I could find 
the food chain looking at Meta Baron to find uh, some some of his stuff. And then I saw this and I was like, all right, well, keep this open just in case. I can't because I wanted to do Azrak. I don't know if I said that, but that that was my goal was to go through Mobius's Azrak work today. This is really really cool. Again, just like man, just classic sci-fi. This is a great shot. You can see this a little better. Like this scan is getting a little lighter. It still doesn't have the saturation. This stuff he he uses fairly bright colors, so this is a bit dull. This is really really beautiful too. Um, a great shot. He looks so young there. He's like hello this it's a shame that you can't see this better because this is really really nice and this is really good too oh yeah this page this is really really cool really really great shot his his spaceship designs are always fantastic this is really really good Just beautiful forms this is real nice with the lighting inside the helmet and then the robot again is just beautifully done this is great this is gorgeous this is so, so trippy. And then this shot right here is just freaking cool. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, okay. So they printed this kind of small in here. Um, he sent me a scan of this when it was almost done. It wasn't completely finished. Or he shot a photo of it. This is beautiful. This is really, really gorgeous, too. You can, somewhere there's a, like a pencil version of this that he didn't fully finish, I think. Um, or or he he shared like pencils. The, the version I saw was par partially painted. Um, this is great, too. This is beautiful. Him, you know, heading down into these chambers. The people all crashed out here, like passed out drunk or whatever they are. It's really cool. This is really epic, too. And... I wish that these, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He sent me this page too when he was finished with it or, or sometime shortly after is beautiful. These guys all laying like wrapped up and the meta burn. These guys are so classic, like heavy metal, Juan Jimenez, Mobius, man, so sick. Good, good stuff. Oh, yeah. See, this is what I was talking about, though. Look how beautiful this is. It's really, really nicely done. This is great. This is really, really cool. Oh, yeah, and then he gets the sword. This is really nice, too. Very cool lighting. He sent me this page, too, when he was finished with it. This page is ridiculous. This is so crazy. This is awesome him jumping down through this hole is just really really cool this is a cool shot again his the way that he renders the materials on this is really phenomenal again go and look at those the um uh versions that he shares of this and again some of them are black and white this is beautiful too all this stuff going on in the background here and then the tech here is just really really nice oh yeah and this is when things started to slow down though or I don't know what was going on, but but definitely it seemed like there were longer gaps in in the project. This is really laborious work, and I think that that um, you know it just it got hard to do. This is great. Oh man, look at that! This is attention to detail on the stones. This is gorgeous. This is so cool with this thing sort of casting through him. This is a great great shot right here. And then this, this is really, really beautiful too. It's a little, little dark, but. Oh, and we're coming up on a really, really kick-ass piece in a second. This monster is really, really neat too. This is a great shot. It's kind of Damonite-ish in this panel right here. Meta Baron's in big trouble. This is hard to see. He's arched back. His chin is right there and his arm is down. And he's like. We're getting close to it. Oh, man, that is so cool. It is a shame that he didn't do this whole book because I'll tell you what, like, you know, it's just, it's, it's would have been amazing to see the, the full book done by him, but it just wasn't going to happen. Unfortunately, this is really great too. Again, his materials, the difference of, of the way that this fabric looks compared to this, compared to this, compared to this. He really, really understands how to light different materials traditionally mind you um and uh that is good stuff i don't remember this guy um 
wow. Oh, okay, I do remember. I remember this panel, and I kind of vaguely remember this, but, man, I haven't seen this page in a long time. These guys are cool. It's funny, I don't really remember this that much either. I remember this shot. I don't really remember this. I remember these guys. This is really cute. Yeah, there's a kind of a, uh, there's a love of Star Wars and stuff. Oh, man, this is so dark. <laughs> I'm like, oh, uh, regrets. I might actually, you know what, at the end I might pause this, and then we'll go through the color scans really quick. You know what, let's do that. I'm going to pa pause right now, and I'll be back in a second, because this is a cry and shame. They're going to be smaller, but they'll at least be easier to see. Let me pause the video. Okay, I'm back. We went to the. I'm I'm on his TravisSheree.com site right now. We're gonna go through all these really quick so you can see them a little better. But do you see how much more detail and stuff is on this? I apologize that the other stuff was so dark. I should have maybe done this from the beginning. But there's some good information in the original video. So let's let's um, just move forward. This can be a longer video. We love Travis's work. I do. Um, that's the royal we. What I say goes. <laughs> if I love it, you're gonna love it. I'm going to make you love it. But anyway, you can see this detail much more more clearly. See, you can kind of get this. With the book, I mean, you can definitely sort of visually zoom in by getting closer to the book and seeing this stuff. But we'll, we'll, we'll scoot a little bit fast. But yeah, you can just really, really see all this, like the beautiful kind of snow or sleet or whatever that's going on. Or maybe, maybe it's kind of magic. But again, you can see the materials here a little bit better, the detail in the jacket. It's beautiful. Couldn't really see this before. Even this detail here. He's definitely got a lot of struzen in his stuff. Um, you know, I, I, he's a big fan. This is nice. Can see this much. Oh, and see, and it's not lettered. So that is actually nice. Yeah, you can see this a bit better. It's funny. These are so bright. They, they seem overly bright. But you can see this a lot better, too. You can always pause on these images if you need to, to um, sort of a... Locking in. It's funny. I don't even remember what what color was here in the other version we just saw. Yeah, so you can see this detail a little bit more in here. How how um more open it is. But uh, what we wanted to get to. Oh, and see here some of the black and white. It's, it's nice. So he would do ink wash and inks and then color over it which again is is doubling your workload and, and creating quite a quite a bit of um work this is beautiful just his his value range is, is so nice and you see what he did in the color isn't that amazing look at that can you imagine That's really wild. You see all that? Such a great page. Oh yeah, already. So, <clears throat> fairly simple here. But when he did went in with the color range, then he was able to take you know a little bit of the white paint and create a little bit more um, majesty. Oh, oh, I went the way. Yeah, you see that? Isn't that crazy? Here we go. Bam. We'll go back and forth. This is nice. This actually is a nice um, addition to the video. So let's, well, let's look at each panel first. And we'll see how it changes. So he's got some illumination here. Does he give it any sort of... You can see he put a little bit of drippy stuff. Oh, was the helmet there? Yeah, the helmet's there. And then in this area here, a little, a few highlights here and there. He kept that pretty true. This maybe we'll have a little more. Yeah, so he put a little bit of the extra lightning kind of coming off this. And can you see that? Yeah, you can see the form. And these, again, simple geometry. This is, he's just magnifying that on all this stuff. I mean, that's not just it, but. That's it. Just do it. 
you got this. <laughs> Some nice detail there. Yeah, that's so good. Bam. Oh, pages are so kick ass. <clears throat> really, really cool. So it's say pretty, pretty spot on. A little bit of uh, extra energy coming off of the Meta Baron's fingers there, but yeah, see, you can really, really like in black and white, can really appreciate like all the tech and stuff like that. And then uh, watch this. Really, really nice colors on this piece. Man, so good. Okay, and then... Oh, yeah. Really great control of value here. Man, that's just really, really stunning. And this is ink wash. I don't... I wouldn't... He, he Some may be pencil, like, like shaded pencil. I... I wouldn't know for a fact I've, I've seen these pieces in person um but uh it's definitely not copic or at least i don't i, I don't believe that it is i don't know if he would ever do it but i mean i would love to actually do an interview with travis for the channel i know don't get excited about it because it's like it's probably not going to happen but but uh he would be really really like the, if i was ever going to start an interview series man you might as well start with the atomic bomb and and I, I would be able to get i think a pretty fun and interesting interview out of him cuz it would be about the art i wouldn't be grilling him over what are you doing now what are you doing more just talk about what he did really really cool this is great. Really, really interesting, actually. Let's see here. Wow, okay. So he left this all open. Man, his vision is just incredible. That's really nice. Yeah. That, I always love this, the, the swing of the sword there with the electric kind of blast off of it. This is great, too. <clears throat> yeah, like, look at that. The colors, like, <laughs> kind of smashes into a pipe. God, I mean, it, it's basically like he's drawing a movie on paper. I know people get weird about that, where it's like comics are comics and movies are movies. Some people... But uh, I don't know. You can actually see the, the Meta Baron's right here. His arms are out in his head, and he's going down, like dropping into this. This is such a great shot, too. Really nice color transition there. Oh, Travis, you're good. Man, look at that. He's like, oh, I woke up. Where am I? Oh, who are these dudes? <laughs> Oh, that's so nice. It's interesting. I would have been tempted to still have a little smoke coming off the sword. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like if you put it there, it would just be so tempting, I guess, because you probably didn't want it to. I mean, he could have had a little, like, sort of mist still coming off here. He did some real nice stuff with a, if you look, like, right around here, he's got, like, a rim light that he puts around the Meta Baron's head. Like, he's catching a little light. You see that? Oh, that's nice too. God dang. <laughs> Man. This is traditional. That's what I'm saying. Like, God dang. Look at that. Even this. What in the world? This guy is crazy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's like the Star Wars cantina gone bad. <laughs> These guys are so cool. Oh yeah, yeah. You seen seeing it with these brighter colors, it's a little easier to recall. I, I this is so nice right here. The gestures of these little guys running out and um this is really cool. This is great. This is just beautiful. Yeah, so he sent me this two-page spread 
at some point after he had done it and i remember just going like oh my god i have i have the the original scans that he sent somewhere they're not like super high res but anyway but yeah like seeing this and all this i mean it's really there's just so much mastery going on here this gloved hand holding the gun or whatever i don't know what the gun sword is called um Unfortunately, I've never actually read the story because the, the version I have is in, I think, French. Um, this is great. Really, really cool. This, These buildings are just really, really great. And him running over all these, like, figures. This is great. I'm shooting this, like, door thing open. And here's the color version. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> This is really, really good. These two shots right here. Man. Woo. Oh, interesting. What is this? This is what I'm familiar with. I don't even remember this. I wonder if this is... I don't know which printed in the book. Wait, let's see. Oh, no. It's the Mobius. Hold on. Let me see something. Okay, so it was these three panels. Interesting. So this is what... I have a scan of, or a photograph of, was this version. Wow, what a trip. And this is what printed. All right. These are great. These three panels are beautiful. Oh, yeah, the spider thing. Spider crap. We're getting towards the end of his uh, his pages, though, sadly. But, you know, I, I mean, look, to even draw a panel like this is basically like about the amount of time it would take to do a page, to, to do the pencils, the ink washes, and then the colors. And so, I mean, that's why it took so long. You know, this is great. And they're big. They're big pieces. Oh, yeah. Man, so good. Oh, and these are the those panels. Interesting. I never. Okay, cool. All right, well, we're going to wrap it up there. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please smash the like if you haven't, and uh, share this video if you'd like. It would really, really help the channel, and um, I'll have links to Travis's um, website and also his Twitter. And, uh, yeah, have a great day. And I won't be back tomorrow for... Um, Super fun Sunday because it's Easter, so I'm gonna I'll be with family. Um, but but yeah, have a great great day and a great week. All right, talk to you later. Bye.